So you failed the SPI exam. Frustrating. But what are we going to do about it? The first thing you want to do is recognize that you are not alone in this. You're not the only one who has failed the SPI exam, unfortunately. It's a very difficult exam. It's not easy. Understand that you went through a challenging course with a challenging exam. Give yourself some grace. You're not the only one to fail. There are plenty of other people who have failed the exam. So it is not the end of the world. However, many people who have failed the first time have passed a second time. Or many people have failed this exam multiple times. And finally, finally, they have succeeded in passing the exam. So recognize that it is possible for you to pass the exam, even though you have experienced this setback. However, I don't want you to fail this exam multiple times. I want you to pass it as soon as possible. So let's get into some more things that we can do. The next thing you want to do is examine your motives. Reevaluate your determination. Why is it that you're trying to become a sonographer? Because the SBI exam is one of the biggest first steps to becoming a sonographer. Why do you want to become a sonographer in the, in the first place? Are you trying to move out of your parents' house and live on your own? Are you trying to create a better life, a more stable income for your children, for your family? Do you want to be able to travel and experience more of the world? Do you want to really impact some patients' lives the way you have been impacted by someone who was very helpful to you in your own medical journey. This why needs to be at the forefront of your mind. You need to realize that your why is still likely very valid. So your course, your plan of action is still very relevant. This is something that you still need to accomplish in order to reach that goal so you can fulfill that why. So now that you know that, you want to reactivate that determination. You know what? I need to put in the work. I need to do whatever it takes so that I can fulfill my goal at the end of the day. Bolster up your determination. The next thing you need to do is check those exam results that you were given at the end of your previous attempt at the SBI exam. There is a breakdown of each exam category that was on the exam. What exam categories did you perform well in? What exam categories did you not perform so well in? Give yourself some credit for the areas that you did perform well in and highlight, focus, write down the ex exam categories that you did not perform so well in. Okay, this is where you need to start. This is where you need to start improving. If you did not perform well in any category, okay, there's an overall consensus that something did not go well in your preparation period. That moves us to the last thing that we're going to do. We are going to create a new plan. Take a look at your previous study schedule. Did you have a previous study schedule? Because if you didn't, that's problem number one. Did you not spend enough time on those exam categories that you did not perform well in? Were you more focused on the exam categories that you did perform? To perform well in or how long were you studying each day were you studying like 20 minutes a day were you studying every other day for most people that's not going to cut it i recommend studying one to two hours a day five to six days a week you have to be disciplined in order to pass this exam so you have to cut out time in your day in order to be prepared for this exam so that might mean you have to take time away from something else. You might have to take time out of your sleep schedule. You might have to take time away from scrolling on social media. You might have to take time away from watching TV. You might have to create some more time, carve out more time in your schedule. Or you might have to ask for some help. Do you have a family member that can help you with your children or help you with the cooking in the household? Can you meal prep for the week on one day so that you're not having to cook every day or every other day? You can just grab and eat your food. That can carve out a little bit more time. Next, what study methods were you using? Were you just reading and highlighting? Were you only trying to memorize concepts? 
Did your study methods align to your learning style? If they did not, you need to scrap what you were doing before and try something different. What is your learning style? That's my number one tip. Okay, you're a visual learner. Learner. Previously, were you just reading? So well, now you need to make sure you are drawing out some diagrams. You need to be looking at ultrasound images, comparing different ultrasound images to see the difference in the machine controls that were used from one image and comparing it to the other one. You might need to make some charts to organize the information. You might want to color code certain information in your notes. You need to change up your learning style. Now, if you are simply not understanding what you were studying the whole time, you were just like, I'm trying to memorize it. Nothing is clicking. I'm not retaining the information. As soon as I read something, it's left my mind. Or the next day, I can't remember what I just read. Then you will need some extra help to pass this exam. So you will need to obtain some additional resources. I have a course called the SPI Simplified. It's a full ultrasound physics course that is aligned with the ARDMS outline. The exam content outline, the exact types of questions that are on the exam are, are aligned with my course so that you can be prepared for the actual SPI exam. I will link that course down below. And I will list my other resources as well as, for example, my mini course that is part of the full course. If you want to try, buy something smaller before you purchase the full course, you can purchase the mini course, then purchase the SPI Simplified Upgrade for the additional video lessons. So a full revamp of your study schedule, your study methods, and your study tools. If you were studying out of four or five different materials to study for the exam and they were confusing you, you might want to cut those down to three study materials in order to pass your exam. Now, another thing that I will mention, some people simply struggle with basic math. Basic math, you have to have a grasp on basic math in order to pass this exam. That's why I included a whole section breaking down the math in detail in my course for those people who struggle with that. You might need to start with the basics. Start with the basics before you move on to building on that with the rest of the concepts listed in the exam content outline. Always make sure that you follow the exam content outline provided by the ADM, ARDMS. That should be one of your main study tools. I hope this video helped you. If this helped to open your eyes or give you some motivation, give you some encouragement, definitely give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.